The last concept for 1.2 is taking um, expressions from English and putting them in algebraic, uh, as an algebraic expression, so writing those. So um, we're just, it says translate the English phrase into an algebraic expression. So A says the difference of 14x squared and 13. Difference means subtract. Now it says the difference of you're going to put the, the first thing that it says first, 14x squared, then the minus, and then the 13. So you would write it that way, 14x squared minus 13. The difference, difference means you're going to subtract two things. And the first one they mention, 14x squared, and the second one. So that's what it looks like. Part B says the quotient, quotient means divide, of 12x and 2. Now you could write it as 12x divided by 2. More likely though in our class we're going to usually see it written this way, 12x divided by 2 written that way. I don't care for this part, you know, which way you write it, but just so that you know in the future you're going to write it that way. Okay, 15. Um, it says 11 more than x. The word than I tell students, think than end. <laughs> so it's going to go at the end. The 11 is going to go after the x because it's 11 more than x. And so you're going to write x plus 11. Now you, you could argue here, you could say, well, it doesn't really matter. Addition's commutative. I could put 11 plus x. It means the same thing as x plus 11. That is true. But it's good to get in the habit when they write more than to put that, the part that's more than at the end. Because subtraction is not commutative. And that's the big one where it comes up. So on 14, it says, I'm sorry, on part B, it says 14 less than 11a. So you're going to write the 11a and then minus 14. So, so you're taking the 14 and you're saying it's less than 11a. I don't know if that helps, but just remember that than means it's switched, okay? So it's going to go at the end. All right. Example 16. This one's a little more involved. So the first part says a, or part a, says 4 times the sum. Okay, times means multiplication. So 4, I'm going to put parentheses, because we're going to multiply by a sum. And sum means add. So this means multiply. And that's why we opened up the parentheses, because it's not 4 times p, it's 4 times the sum. And so you want to make sure you're going to multiply that 4 times what's being added. Now, what's being added? The sum of p and q. So p plus q. So it be written that way. <clears throat> Part B has some of the same words, but it's written a little differently. So it says the sum of, so we're going to add, sum means add, and we're going to add two things. We're going to add this and this. So that's the addition sign right there, really. Um, it's, you're going to add stuff and stuff. So not two addition signs, but that's, that's where the adding comes in. 4 times p, that's going to be 4p, and q. So it would look like that. So they look very similar. One has parentheses and one doesn't, but as we learned earlier, it makes a difference. So 4 times p, and you're going to add that to q. It takes a little practice to get used to these, but that's why we have homework. All right, 17. The length of a rectangle is 7 less than the width. Let, uh, let w represent the width of the rectangle. Okay, so they give us a variable here. w is going to be the width. And so I could put like a little w right above the word width. Write an expression for the length of the rectangle. Well, it says the length of the rectangle is 7 less than the w. So less than, it's that less than. So it's going to be w minus 7. And then we have one more. 
Jeffrey has dimes and quarters in his pocket. The number of dimes is eight less than four times the number of quarters. But Q represent the number of quarters. So again, Q is going to be the number of quarters. Now we have to write an expression for the number of dimes. So it says up here the number of dimes is, okay, now this is the part where we're going to start. Eight less than, so something, something, minus eight. Eight less than, less than what? Four times the number of quarters. Well, how would you represent four times the number of quarters? If Q is the number of quarters, then you want four times Q, or four Q. And we don't need that squiggly line, but 4Q minus 8 then, that would represent the number of dimes. It's 8 less than 4 times the number of quarters. Takes a while to get used to these, but practice them, you can do it. And we'll see you in the next section.